Good morning, students. Today my topic is Rutherford's model of an atom. As you know, the different scientists have attempted to give the model of an atom, and Rutherford tried to give the model of an atom on the basis of gold foil alpha scattering experiment. Now there are two things. First thing, why he chose gold foil? Because gold is the most malleable metal, and he could literally get thin sheets of gold which were almost one atom thick. Second thing, the point for selection of alpha particles because these are heavy particles, they have large mass and they are positively charged. Now, he bombarded a beam of alpha particles on the gold foil and there were three major observations made by Rutherford. The first observation was most of the alpha particles pass straight through the foil. So when he bombarded the beam of the alpha particles, most of the alpha particles could pass straight through the foil. Few alpha particles were deflected. When they passed through the gold foil, so a few alpha particles got deflected from their position and very few alpha particles bounced back. As you can see here, there was a very small ratio of the alpha particles which bounced back, they retraced their path. So these were the three major observations made by Rutherford in the gold foil alpha scattering experiment. On the basis of these observations, he gave three inferences. Basically, what were the three results drawn from these three observations? Number one, as most of the alpha particles pass straight through the foil, so that means most of the atom is hollow. That means there are a lot of empty spaces in the atom and that's why the alpha particles could pass straight through it. Now, we come to the third observation first. Very few alpha particles bounced back. That showed that there was something present in the atom that had a positive charge because that's why it's bounced back and it had a large mass, it was a dense body and the size of this dense body was very small as compared to the size of the atom. So he said that there is a dense hard mass at the center with a positive charge and this central body which is present in the atom was termed as nucleus. Now regarding the second observation that few alpha particles were deflected from their position this was because those particles which directly hit the central nucleus they bounced back but those particles which passed near the uh, nucleus they got deflected because the nucleus is positively charged alpha particles are positively charged so positive positive a deflection was caused so this was due to those particles which passed from near the central core the central core is nucleus so on the basis of this gold foil alpha scattering experiment, Rutherford gave this model of the atom which said that atom is a spherical body which is more than in this atom most of the spaces are hollow but the central part of the atom that is the nucleus that is a dense mass, hard mass, heavy mass and it is in the center of the atom and the size of the atom, nucleus is very small as compared to the size of the atom. And atom on the whole is electrically neutral. Thank you.